Rahman Rahim. An important issue which needs to be settled once a divorce has been finalized is the fate of the children. Whom should the children belong to? There are people who think that the children should go to the mother, others who think that they should go to the father. And there is a lot of extreme in this matter. And in, at the very outset, it should be realized and it should be noted that Islam or the Quran has in no way prescribed any procedure in this matter. It has not ascertained any procedure. It has left the whole issue to the discretion of a court. And the court has to decide, keeping in view the welfare and the benefit of the children themselves. At times, a mother would be useful to, uh, to have them with her. Or and at other times, uh, the father should be entrusted with this job. The bottom line is that the Sharia has not prescribed any ruling in this matter. It has left this issue to the discretion of a court or the people who decide. And this decision should be made primarily keeping in view the welfare and the benefit of the children. Uh, in this regard, there are about a couple of uh, cases which have been reported to the, uh, in the time of the Prophet. And I'd like to read out uh, a few of them before you so that one can gauge the fact that there is no strict ruling in this matter and in all such cases it is the welfare of the children which must be given prime importance. So uh, one of these cases has been recorded in Abu Dawud. Abdullah ibn Amr narrates that a lady came to the Prophet and said, For this son of mine it is only my belly which was his abode, and my breasts which were his vessel, and my lap which was his dwelling place. Now his father has divorced me and wants me wants to take him away from me. The Prophet replied, You are more entitled to keep him until you marry again. Similarly, another case which is also recorded in Abu Dawud is reported by Abu Huraira. He's, he narrates that in his presence, once a lady came to the Prophet, I heard her saying, My husband wants to take away from me this child, even though he has brought over water from me from the well of Abu Amba and given me a lot of benefit. The Prophet replied, Both of you can cast a lot on this. Upon hearing this, the husband said, Who will quarrel with me regarding this son of mine? The Prophet asserted, O son, this is your father and this is your mother. Grasp the hand of the one you want to hold. The child grasped the mother's hand and she took him away. So it is absolutely evident from both these cases that the Sharia has not prescribed anything in this matter. Whether a mother is going to look after the children or the father is going to be their custodian, it has to rely on their welfare and the benefit of the children themselves. Akulu kawali haza wa astaghfirullah li wa lakum wa lisaril muslimina wal muslimat.